Hello, my name is Jose Miguel Varas and we have been Shrin users since 1994. Before mitomycin C was used routinely for superficial ablations, uh, we saw PRK as the perfect formula for making an irritating treatment. Uh, with a slow postoperative recovery and an uncertain future with regard to the development of the terrible haze. So, when TransPRK was added into the Amaris platform, uh, for us it looked just like a PTK attached to an optimized optical ablation. But in fact, before the Amaris, uh, our percentage of cases treated on the surface was less than 1%, and in some years was 0%. So, it was LASIK or nothing. We don't only have optimal optical outcomes, but we could add several groups of excluded patients to our practice. Those with thinner corneas, patients without keratoconus but with unusual topographies, patients with fear of the mechanical part of the treatment, that's the macrokeratome, those patients who didn't want to have a blade into their eyes, and it was very useful too to those uncooperative patients because there is no touch involved. Thanks to the new ablation pattern called Smart Pulse, where the ablated surface achieves a very, very improvement in the smoothness of the surface, uh, patients achieve a visual acuity recovery between 25 and 2030 in the first and second days. So that reduces the immediate visual gap between LASIK and TransBRK in a remarkable way. So we have to say that from our Zealot background doing 100% LASIK 10 years ago, this new surface treatment, our practice continues to rise, and today TransPRK with smart bolts constitutes about 35% of our refractive practice.